Hi everyone, Becca here with Basics by Becca and today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a journal in Canva to either sell on KDP, Etsy, or even just for your personal use. So let's go ahead and dive into that tutorial today. Okay, so once you sign into your Canva account, what you're going to do is go create a design and you're just going to type in US letter. Then it's going to show up this US letter document. It's an 8 by 5 times 11. We're going to click that. And that's the typical size of a journal. Now, there's a few different ways that you can create the interior of a journal. So I'm going to show you the easiest one that I found um, so far. So when we go to templates, we're just going to type in lined paper. It's showing up right here. And you're just going to scroll down and find one that you like. So for example, let me choose this one here. And I have the pro account, but some of these will be available for you on the free account as well. So you can use uh, Canva Pro or the Canva free account. So I'm just going to choose this. And as you see, the lines are already there for you. Let's scroll in a little bit and you can change this if you'd like. So if you want to maybe make the lines a little darker, black color, you can go ahead and do that. You can change the size of the lines to make it um, either more thicker or thinner, totally up to you. And that's a really easy way to just create the interior of your journal. Um, now, let me show you another way that you can do it. So let's start with a new piece of paper. And in the template, instead of typing in line paper, let's just type in journal. And as you see here, it's going to give you different templates that you can use too for your journal interior. So for example, let's choose this one and this one here. And as you see, this gives you the lines already too. So if you want to change this maybe to um, self love. Oops self-love journal we can go ahead and do that if you want to change the background color maybe if you want to change it to a pink or you can make it white in the background you can do that as well so this can be edited now the third way that you can create the interior if you want to make it a little more uh customizable what you can do is basically just go to a blank page and all you do is on your keyboard if you have an hp on the Mac, um, it might be a little different, but you just type L. And that will create a line for you. Now, this is going to take a little bit more time because, for example, if you want to um, duplicate the line, you have to align it together. And basically, that just creates it itself. So if you want to make me these lines gray, maybe if you want to make it a little thinner, and you can go ahead and create these lines yourself and create a journal interior all on your own. So let me scroll up and kind of show you exactly how you can make a cover for this journal as well. So we're going to put this at the very top. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to background and then you can go ahead and choose a cover. So let's choose this um, pinkish cover right here, for example. Or you can look under patterns, for example, and you can choose that color right there. And what I like to do to create my covers is to um, include elements. So there's some elements that I have downloaded already. Um, and these elements I have found on Creative Fabrica. And I'll leave a link because that's actually a great website for you to go to and find different elements. Um, you can sign up for a membership and, and pay for them, or you can pay for them individually. So for example, here are some um, elements that I have downloaded from Creative Fabrica and then uploaded it to Canva. But you can always go in the elements bar and look for ones from Canva as well. So what you want to do for me, I'm going to choose this one, for example. Move it down a little bit. Let's change the background on this. Hmm, let's change it maybe to more like pinkish color. So we're going to move this down a little bit. And then what I want to do is add some text. So this is going to be, um, you know, my, my self-love journal. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll add the text. So journal 
All right. So, so here what you're going to do is move this up a little bit and let's go ahead and change that font and make it a little bigger. And there you go. You can create um, the cover for your journal however you'd like. So you can change the colors, you can add elements, you can change the text around. And that's how you can create that cover. And then when you go to print it, you just click here and you want to print it in PDF print. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how you can print this um, in the form of a actual book. So I'm going to just exit out of here and show you that in the next step. Now let's say that you wanted to create a journal for KDP. What you're going to do is use this right here as your template. So it's supposed to be this size and this is the recommended size to use for a hardcover journal on Amazon. So as you see here, I already have um, some backgrounds that I picked out, but let's go ahead for um, learning, we're just going to create a new one. So I could go ahead and choose one of the backgrounds that I have downloaded from Creative Fabrica as well. So for example, if I want to choose this as my background, I'm just going to go ahead and resize this background to make it like that. And then I can put um, my fonts here or, you know, uh, the self-love journal or whatever journal I'm making, I could put the text here. Now, for example, if you want to just use a normal background, let's just choose like a color, maybe not that, but um, let's just choose a color one. So for example, you can have a plain pink background. And then what you want to do to create the heading on the background is let's go ahead and um, go to elements and you're going to choose this here let's go ahead and move this over resize it a bit align it let's make it white and here you can just simply add the text so let's go ahead here and we're going to write self self love journal. Let's go ahead and move this over and use the text we were using before. Align it. Uh, we make it bigger, might go up. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Move it up a little bit. And this you can um, basically design however you'd like. If you like to put, you know, some elements here as well, you can just go in. Let's maybe look, um, for flowers, choose this one, and you can just kind of go ahead and decorate it however you'd like the cover. So that is just a simple way for you to create um, a cover in order to make a print copy of this or to sell it as a hardcover on um, KDP. So that is it. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to sell these on KDP or Etsy um, because there are plenty of videos on YouTube that will go into great detail about selling, actually selling your journals or selling your planners that you create. And this is just meant to show you how to create the covers for them as well as the interiors. I also have another video that I'll link in the description below that shows you how to make a PDF um, into a digital copy so that you can use it either on um, your iPad or tablet. And that's something that is a great product to sell on Etsy as well. So I'll link that video for you below.